Welcome to our demonstration on how to combine vCloud Automation Center with vSphere Big Data Extensions to provide a service catalog that enables end users to create and manage their own independent Hadoop clusters. We begin by logging into the vCloud Automation Center. We can see a service catalog that allows you to create your Hadoop clusters. This user has been given a privilege to create a basic new Hadoop cluster, create a compute-only cluster where we can point to an already created name node and just create the MapReduce components, or create a cluster where we can separate storage and compute into their own virtual machines. We're going to create a basic cluster. We give it a description, My New Cluster. Name it My Cluster. And we can choose our distribution, which is configurable by user or user group. These are all of the distros that are supported. We are going to select Apache in this case. Next, we need to configure individual VMs. We are going to have just one master node that will contain the job tracker and name node. We'll retain the memory size and the amount of storage that are the defaults. Similarly, here with the worker configuration, we will keep the defaults for the data node and the task tracker nodes covering the number of CPUs, the amount of memory, and the amount of storage for each one. But we will increase the number of instances that we want by one. We can create a client VM as well. Here we will take the defaults for that and submit it. Now, depending on our configuration, we can define a set of workflows that are approval processes for this cluster. But in this demonstration, we are going to go ahead and immediately create the cluster. You can see that the request to create the cluster has been submitted and is in process. Now, if we go into vSphere Client, we can see that tasks have been created and we are cloning the virtual machines. So we are taking a Hadoop template and cloning that. Then we're using the Iron Fan and Chef to provision the individual types of nodes based on the configurations that we defined in the previous screens. This will take a few minutes to complete. Here's the new My Cluster we have just created. Here we can see the information about the owner, the date and time it was created, the various IP addresses of the cluster, and so on. Then we have a series of actions that have been enabled on this cluster. So on day two, we can take other actions. These actions are assigned based on the individual user or user group. We can stop or start the cluster, and we can even resize it to scale it out. Let us resize this cluster. We give a name to this action, and pick the node group we want to expand. Let us pick the worker node and increase the number from four to five and click Submit. Again, if we go back to Requests, we can see that the expansion is in process. Now, if we go back and look into the vCenter, we can see that a single new virtual machine has been created and configured as a worker node. Again, it will run the task tracker and data node services, which should complete in a minute or two. Now, if we go back to our cluster, we can see that it has completed. We can also see that a fifth IP address has been allocated here. This means that another worker node has been provisioned, started, and commissioned into the cluster and is a part of the next MapReduce job that it executes. This concludes the demonstration on how to combine vCloud Automation Center with vSphere Big Data Extensions to create and manage Hadoop clusters. Thank you.